Okay, so we're, we're going to make a icon for our, an application, and that's about it. We're going to use the standard sizes, ranging from 16 to 256. You can go pretty crazy with the details and the sizes, but I'm going to use pretty standard sizes for my icon. Now, the icon that we will be creating is an icon pack, and it creates or it has sub icons in it. And the only way that I know of creating this effectively is using Adobe Photoshop CS4 32-bit, which can handle the icon plugin that I have. Which is um, which is found. We'll have to show you. Here it is, sibcode.com. This is the one that I use. All the other ones don't seem to be able to create sub icons. Okay, so I'm going to boot up Photoshop. I'm going to create a new document. The new document is going to be 256 by 256 pixels, and the background is going to be transparent. So let's make an icon. I'm going to add a circle in there. I'm going to give the circle some style. Bevel and emboss. Ooh. Ew. Okay. That's good. <laughs> I'm going to add a B. Change the color to black. And we want to size our font using the the um, pit, or the the points up here instead of actually sizing it using the anchor uh, anchor points. So let's create something 150. Very good. And we're going to add some style to this letter here. Bevel and emboss again. And that's good enough. So I'm going to go up to File, Save, and we're going to save it to the desktop as an icon, and we're going to rename it to um, App Icon. This is the name that I use for my icons on all my apps, pretty much. And you really want to use the name of your, your document, so make sure that you set your name of the document to App Icon, otherwise you're going to have to rename the um, the icon when you're saving it every time and it's pretty tedious the way it is okay so I'm gonna save it and just hit OK and then I'm gonna go to image go to image size and resize it to 128 by 128 which is another standard size and we're gonna save it again and we're gonna change it to icon again and go to app icon so from what I can tell it's pretty unavoidable you can't really keep it or default it to the icon file type when you're resaving it um, but you can make sure that the name is the same if you are to change the document the document or the sorry the document name to app icon so I'm not too um, good with Photoshop but yeah this is as efficient as I can get it to be okay I'm gonna click on advance when I save it and I'm gonna select the sub icon here so that it's appended, so that they're kind of combined, and then keep everything else default. And then I'm going to go ahead, resize it to, I don't know, what's the next one down? 64? It might be 96. We'll just go, yeah, I think there's 64 and 96 are some standard sizes in between the ones that I'm going to do now. I'm going to do 48, which is a common size. And I'm going to save that. Icon and rename this and we're going to select our sub icons again so that they're kind of combined and you want to do this from 48 to 32 to 24 to 16 and you can look up different standard sizes that you would like to set but this is these are the sizes that I set so the point of creating sub icons is that you want to simplify the graphics in your smaller images and you want Photoshop to do the resizing of the icon so that Windows does not have to do it. If Windows is forced to resize a large icon into something very small, it will look very wrong on a uh, Windows form or where, wherever it is.